rocket dock, which is one of these down here. It's pretty neat. So let's get started. So I'm gonna open up a new file. This is the icon size. So it's 64 pixels by 64 pixels. And this is important. Listen to me. This is rule number one. Resolution 300. And you also have to remember rule number two, which is to follow rule number one. So now that we have that clear, we're good. I'm not trying to be a sheriff, but just listen to me. I'm an expert. Alright, so we're going to hit OK on that. And oh my god, it popped up. Isn't that just fascinating? Alright, but uh, we can just put that, that, that down there. I can't talk today. We can just put that down there. And I'm going to open up something that I've already saved. I will read that right back. My friend's calling me. So I'll put this on pause. Alright, and I'm back. So, uh, yeah, that's the one I already have made, but for demonstration purposes, I won't make it again. So we're going to open up that. And I'm going to go to NBA logo. And there it is. And so since there's white stuff around it, and uh, I have to cut it out, I am going to, uh, open up a new a new layer so it's transparent. You gotta make sure it's transparent. I'm just gonna make it big enough. 400 by 400. Of course a 300 resolution. Okay. Alright, and when transferring him, the picture, I should say, you, should, you always want to hold down the shift key. So it looks good. And so there's many ways to cut it out. You can use the magnetic tool. You can use a quick selection tool. Or you can use a magic eraser if it's simple enough. So that's what I'm gonna use. And power wide spots. Move that up. So we can get the bottom. E is a shortcut for eraser. And there it is. And from here, I'm gonna make this just a tad smaller using Control T. And you want to hold the Shift key down when you're doing this. So watch. It goes like that. See if I go out. It still goes like that. It's magic, I know. Don't ask. I don't know. Alright, so I'm gonna filter gallery this, cause you can get some nice old filler cat over there, yeah. So yeah. Um, there's so many of them. You got three, four freaking folders of them. Yeah, nerds that made this. But look at me. I'm doing the tutorial, so I have never been talking. And I'm gonna do accented edges, it looks pretty sweet. Hit OK. And just to give it even more sweetness, I'm going to go down to Filter, Stylize, Wind. There it is. Shaboom. And there, that looks even cooler. So yeah, you can exit out of that. And I'm going to open this back up. Not that big. And same move this over. Make sure you hold the Shift key. There it is. Hit Control T. I'm going to do the same thing. Hold the Shift key. Move it back up while holding the shift key down. Move it back up. Do it again. Do you can actually get your freaking thing to fit. I just got it just a little smaller. Perfect. Hit enter and boom, there it is. Now here comes the most important part of this tutorial. You have got to hit file, save as, and it's got PSD is a normal fo fo Photoshop folder, so you can open it up and it has all those layers. But in order to be a little icon thing for your rocket dock, you have got to hit PNG. And I'm going to save this as NBA logo. Save. When it says interlace, none. Hit OK. And now watch. I'm going to go to add item. Open. Okay, never mind. I'll just demonstrate using this little folder right here. We'll change this. We'll change Mozilla Firefox. So we'll go to Dyke Autumn Prop. I said Dyke. Yeah. Better yet, we're going to go. We're going to change this one. We're going to go. It says icon. Click that little thing. Browse. And go to your target folder that you saved it in. So in this case, this would be 
pictures. And it would be in Logo Maker. There it is, right there. Double click on that. Hit OK. Hit OK. There it is. Looks great. Looks good on the rocket docklet. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that looks terrific. And you can make any icon that you want just using that. Just make sure you save it as a PNG. And this has been a ZWeb 01 presentation. For any comments, questions, or concerns, comment me, visit my profile, and or, you better, just saying, I'm sorry if I'm mean, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.